All right, what is up guys? Um, today I'm gonna be creating a directory on WordPress with no plugins. Um, this is a very, very simple method, mostly because I don't believe you need a directory or like plugins for everything. And uh, you can technically manually create it. It is not the most efficient way, but I think if you wanna dabble in directories, you can first manually create it using stock WordPress. And with that said, um, I do want to report that directories are flying right now in terms of rankings. So it's a good time to get it started. Um, I think a good place to get going is a citywide directory. You can focus on best realtors in Vancouver, BC, and then branch out into the suburbs, you know? Um, anyways. Before I get into it, for the next couple of minutes, I'll be eating creatine plus reporting my numbers from the day before. If you guys can't handle it or are not into it, please simply look away. Cool. So yesterday we did about 2K in total revenue. Um, it's down $200 from the day before. We have Amazon coming in at $1188, Mediavine at 80 bucks, and the adult revenue source at, source at 807 Hit up all the Christmas markets in Munich yesterday. It was beautiful. Stunning, stunning. Anyways, here we go. All right, let's get it going. Cool beans. So um, to get things immediately started, uh, welcome to the Canadian directory. All right, so this is a stock WordPress instance. All right, so before I even get it going, I wanna talk about the best way to start is a citywide directory. It's just easier to rank for cities, local, um, all that good stuff. But if you do want to expand to Canada, then you should have some sort of, um, how do I say, Canadian subdirectory. So in WordPress, what you can do is actually have, uh, you can have parent and child pages. So you're going to be building most of these things in pages as opposed to posts, mostly because you can then uh, fix up the ar architecture. Um, if this is too advanced for you, then go check yourself, go watch some YouTube videos. Um, I don't think it's going to be that bad, but anyways, Canadian Canada. So what that means is it's going to be a, under this CA page, like in the, as you can see, it's dot uh, slash CA. And if you go into pages now and you wanted to create, you know, um, like a, a statewide or a provincial wide in Canada will be like BC, like for British Columbia. And then I would put it under the Canadian one, right? Because it goes Canada, provinces, city, right? So now look, once I put it under CABC, then it's Canada, BC. And then uh, for our example today, I want to do in Vancouver. So let's create another one. Do do do. Vancouver. <laughs> and then we'll put that under BC, right? Boom. So <clears throat> what are uh, these pages going to have? All right. So <clears throat> it depends on how many types of businesses you want. If it's going to be a single niche business, and then this is all you need. So under Vancouver, if this is a single niche business, like directory, then under Vancouver, it'll just be like, um, I already generated with ChatGPT. Like if you're, if, if, if our example is top SEO companies in Canada as like a directory, then under Vancouver, we would have something like this. All right. Do, do do top top five uh, SEO companies in Vancouver, Canada, and then bada bing, bada boom. Um, it'll look like this pretty much um, under Vancouver. But then, oh, actually, <coughs> the directory 
sorry, the URL will, excuse me. Okay, so if this is a single niche directory, it'll look like this, all right? Top five SEO companies in Vancouver, Canada. And then under BC, what will we have is we're gonna have a list of all the cities, all right? So like in BC, um, I don't know. I don't know all the cities in BC. So let's go Vancouver, Nanaimo, Richmond, Whistler. And then <clears throat> in, in this, it will just simply be like uh, best SEO companies in Vancouver and then hyperlink to this page, you know? Do, do, do. Like this. So that's what it'll look like. Um, and then under Canada, this is assuming you're going to do like multiple countries. All right. If, if you're only doing one country, then you just leave, Can uh, you won't even include Canada. You'll just do BC slash city. All right. Um, I hope that makes sense. And then here it will be like best, uh, SEO companies in BC, best SEO companies in Alberta, so on and so forth. All right. Do, do, do. And then we'll link do this. Do you see what we're doing here though? Um, like, do you like, do you see how the site architecture is like built from the homepage, which will link to, I don't know if, if we're doing, uh, if we only have Canada, then this page, this page right here will be <coughs> the homepage. <coughs> But in our example, we're probably doing best. Um, I don't know, welcome to the SEO company directory. And then here are a list of our picks, best SEO companies in Canada. And then you would link to the Canadian page. All right. So uh, another step up you could do actually is <clears throat> best SEO companies in BC, best SEO companies in Alberta. However, um, now create the same thing for Canada. Oh, whoops. Now do the same thing for Canada. And then while that's running in the background, what, what you can actually do if um, this is your like standard page, you can actually go after ranking for uh, best SEO companies in Canada for these individual pages, uh, do, do, do Canada, BC. And then this page would be trying to rank for best SEO companies in BC, Canada. And then you just create content. Do, do, do. BC, Canada, All right? So top five companies in Canada, right here, company one, two, three, four, five. And then at the bottom, you'll link out to the um, directories. So you'll notice what we did here is the, the site architecture flows downwards. So it goes from homepage, which links to the um, homepage, which links to the country page, best SEO company in Canada, which then would rank uh, link to best SEO companies in BC, and then in this page, you'll also have something like something similar. <clears throat> do, do, do. Best SEO companies in BC. And then you would just push all this, the interlinking to the bottom. And <clears throat> if you want to go all out, by the way, you can have another this is only if you want to go out, this is like a bit excessive. So what you can do is actually you can create something called profiles and then you can automatically list list of all SEO companies pretty much. And then just be like company one. All right. And then company, whoops. I don't know what's going on. Company one. And then you would put that under the parent of, you choose the parent as profiles. Uh, 
Company one is the best SEO company in Vancouver, <coughs> founded in nine, 2022. All right, something like that. So this will be the profile page. So your target keyword on company one will be like, in this example, it will be indexy. All right. <coughs> and then now, every time the mention company one, you can go like C profile. Because you know, a lot of directories have profile pages, right? So that's what we're going for here. Um, best company in BC. And you would do that for every page too. And then do do C company profile. Um, that's it. That's pretty much it. I think I set the, how do I say? I think I set the foundation of a good directory. Like obviously you have to fill it out um, with like different countries from the homepage. And then in the different companies, <coughs> sorry, in, in the different countries, you'll have something like this, best SEO companies in Canada. And then each company will have its own profile page you can, you can build all this programmatically, obviously with, uh, tools, uh, different plugins, but I'm showing you how you can actually just brute force everything while you're getting started with zero tech knowledge, because you can just follow my idea. Well, my walkthrough today, step-by-step step, with any niche, and you can try to rank for it today. Um, I hope that helps. If you guys like today's episode, please comment director for the YouTube algo and, uh, we can go from there if yeah. So see best SEO company in Vancouver. See company profile, company one, like that. That's, you know what? If for nine minutes, 10 minutes, pretty good. I, I'm into it. Guys, you guys, if you guys like from A to Z tutorials, uh, comment, director for the YouTube algo, uh, sign up for, um, subscribe to the channel. That's it. That's it. All right. Um, for the next. 30 seconds, I'll be answering questions from the day before. And also, if you sign up for the first link in the YouTube description, you guys sent the URL to this notion. I'll include the URL to what we worked on today. All right, that's it. Take it easy, guys. Um, here comes the answers. Rank and red, thank you. Rank and red does ranking in Google Maps affect organic rank? Um, no. Is it necessary to have a smack match domain with rank and rank, or can I also do more general name? General works, it's just harder. No point in that actually rank around. Thank you. Is it fine to have all GMBs under one email or keep them isolated? Um, depends if you're faking it or if it's legit rank and rent right away, right away. Thank you. Um, the reason why I stepped away from the rank and rent, uh, example is because directories are popping. I reported this in the advised community. So I thought I'd do an episode on this. All right. That's it guys. Like the episode comment helps a lot. Subscribe. Um, and if you guys are looking for PBNs. This is going up in price probably sometime between now and Christmas because we're working on getting PBNs live. Uh, we have 60 new PBNs going live and we're increasing the price right after. And if you guys need a humanizer for SEO content, I didn't use it today, but turn it human.com 50% off with YouTube 50 and I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip.